Since the technique estimates age based on structural degradation, this should be the first red flag whenever you hear about a wax study being done on the Shroud of Turin. Unless you're a deeply biased person that really wants the resurrection to be a real historical event. Then you're just not even going to worry about, you know, critical thinking. The entire argument that apologists use for the image on the Shroud of Turin is that some kind of magical light bombarded the Shroud and that light emanated from the dead body of Jesus. And I say magical because this kind of electromagnetic radiation must have not worked exactly like all other electromagnetic radiation out there. First, it supposedly came from a dead body. And second, it would have had to have not affected the structural integrity of the shroud itself. X-rays are part of the electromagnetic spectrum of light. So they have to start this study by assuming that the light that was emanating from Jesus's body was a magical form of light that doesn't operate like any other form of light that it, we have ever known to exist. In other words, what they're saying is, well, this method works as long as the resurrection, you know, didn't do anything unique to the laws of physics. It, if it did, then just ignore the science on it. It's basically special pleading wrapped up in scientific jargon. First, the Waxus dates the Shroud to around 55 to 74 CE, which is at least 22 years past the time when Jesus supposedly died. But in their conclusion, the researchers said that the structural degradation of the Shroud matches a 2,000 year old time frame. So not strictly the 55 to 74 CE dating that they get from the Waxus method, meaning that they did the actual study, looked at the findings, I was like, yeah, that's close enough. But these scientists are basically adding on speculation to the Waxus results in order to get an earlier date. I don't know about y'all, but I feel like that is yet another red flag and also not how science is done. If we compare this to the 1988 radiocarbon study, all three of the independent labs dated to the same time frame, which was the time frame that corroborated the uh, actual documented history of the shroud. Do you notice the big difference in quality here? Nobody has to add speculation onto the 1988 study, but you got to add speculation and ad hoc conclusions onto this whole Waxus study.